personal preference. We're all different. And you can see that lion cub's actually struggling a little bit. There's a, there is a small hole from where they removed the sensitive bits of that buffalo. But it's, buffalo's foot is in the way, and every now and then you see, ooh, it getting squashed. Now, Carrie, you were wondering if it would be easier for these lions just to claw straight through the buffalo, and unfortunately not. So their claws are designed for gripping and holding on nice and tight, but they haven't got strong claws like you see on a cheetah or on a wild dog or a hyena or anything that would use their claws to dig. You see them, they, they are able to retract their claws and protect them. So they won't, they're not strong enough at all to dig through that hide. That hide is so tough. So the easiest way is to gnaw through the hide and make a little incision. And then of course tear it open from, from that. And, and I reckon by tomorrow morning they would have opened up this carcass, especially once Mr. Mfumo decides to come around and have a, a bite to eat. But he doesn't seem to be too interested at the moment. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to move forward. I'm going to leave these lions and the cubs eat, but I think we can go up ahead and spotlight the other adults because they don't seem to have any cubs around. I'm just, it's now getting very dark all of a sudden. So let's just move forward. Obviously, <laughs> sorry, David. <laughs> now, even with the adults, I actually haven't even bothered. I'm just going to adjust the LED light. I haven't even bothered with the spotlight. Just because we're relatively, uh, relatively close proximity, and I find that these LEDs work really nicely, and they're not as harsh on the animals. Now I know you, some of you haven't ever been on a safari, but um, when we shine the spotlight, we don't actually shine directly into the animal's eyes. We shine on somewhere else on the body to illuminate the face, because you can imagine if you were sh supposed, if you were to shine these spotlights, which have got quite a few lumens. It would, it would actually hurt their eyes too. So something like this, these LEDs really come in handy where they're a lot less harsh. Now he's getting up. Let's see what he's going to do. And I also find that these LEDs cast some nice shadows. Oh, Rebecca just said they look beautiful. So you'll see me just every now and then turning the LED. But he looks very interested in this female. Who are we? Who are we over here? Now he's Fleming grimacing. He, he did test her to try and pick up her scent. Now what's the verdict, mister? She doesn't look very impressed by um, that notion. Perhaps you need to tread cautiously in formal. Now as he tries to Think about his next move, but first a big stretch. He's rubbing up against the tree, which is typical of this male. And as he turns his tail up and he sprays the urine, we definitely know that he's marking his territory. Hello, big boy. And now he's just going to sit back down and perhaps have a nap again. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. Now, I don't know where the Birminghams have come from, and my highlight of these beautiful beetles has to be when we did the safari marathon, and we had the first bit of rain, and we saw them mating. So I think that this is probably a female. Typically with insects, the females are larger than the males. And that was, that was quite...